the Ludlow Maiden Hurdle. Three mile two furlong. Number one is Bishop Brennan for Kevin Minahan. We've got Cider Gold, the favourite for Hollywood Hinton. Uh, 15 to 8. Half hour Hancock, the Sly Otar, Vanguard Dream, Black Absolute, and Rock and Robin for Pontypool Racing. And away they go. Over the first of 17 flights. And the Sly Otar is our early leader. Moving into second now, Cider Gold. Half hour Hancock is in that group. Just behind the leader with Rock and Robin, and just behind them Black Absolute and Vanguard Dream. Probably two laps left to go on this track. Stabling area in the background there. And over the fourth we go. This one's over three miles, so we may run into the three-mile pull-up curse. Fingers crossed here for the trainers that that is not the case. So it's the Slyotar. Jumps the fifth nicely from Bishop Brennan. Rock and Robin. We've got Black Absolute. Half Hour Hancock. The favourite side of gold. And Vanguard Dream. Well, this lead is doing it easy. Didn't have to work at all to take the lead. It's got a nice little gap between itself and the peloton. Let's go over the seventh. Side of gold now pulls its way into second spot from Bishop Brennan. Kevin trying to make up for the last race where his horse was the favourite and finished third. In a field of four. Or was it the race before? Anyway. Oh, it was earlier on the card, I should say. That's right, I've split a couple of these races up. They're well inside two mile. They search for the eighth flight. And this field's starting to string out a bit. Flyotar leads well, it's jumping well, side of gold second with half hour Hancock, we've got Black Absolute to go over the tenth, from Rock and Robin and Bishop Brennan and Vanguard Dream. They run up the home stretch here. Past the winning post, and they have one more lap to go. Nice track, this one, isn't it? And Sly Otar has been leading from the flag drop. Oh, we've got to pull up. The favourite's out. Side of gold for Hollywood Hinton is out of the race, and we're also losing Black Absolute. So we're down to a field of five. The curse strikes, usually it strikes in threes. The Sly Otar still leads. From Rock and Robin, half hour Hancock, three away to Vanguard Dream and Bishop Brennan. A mile left to run.
And the sly otar. Can he keep going or she? Leads by two and a half to Rock and Robin. Poised. So too half hour Hancock. Vancard Dream getting closer. Bishop Brennan just struggling for a little bit of pace. Six furlongs left. The leader's jockey peeps over the shoulder. And you can see Rock and Robin just waiting. Now Bishop Brennan hooks around the outside. Makes a forward move at the five furlong. Vanguard Dream looks like it's just ran into a pool of mud. And that's almost stopped. At the four furlong, the Sly Otar still rolling. But Bishop Brennan's inching closer. And moves up on the outside. So too is Half Hour Hancock. Three furlongs to go. They round the home turn. Well, they start rounding it. I think we're in the home stretch now. <clears throat> Here we go. And it's Bishop Brennan. Up and over the 15th. Oh, how far Hancock walked through it. The Sly Otar holding on for third from Rock and Robin. Vanguard Dream over the 16th. And uh, Bishop Brennan's got this one shot to pieces at the furlong. Had to jump it. Has done. The interest is in third, really. And Bishop Brennan is a mile in front. And wins one of the most comfortable wins of the day from half hour Hancock. Vanguard Dream that looked like to be gone has got up and ran third. It looked like it was running in golden syrup there for a while. But uh, congratulations Kevin with Bishop Brennan. Second half hour Hancock, Stu Gray. Third Vanguard Dream, Obi Wan. Fourth Rock and Robin, Pontypool Racing. And the Sly Otar picked up some prize money for Kabiza T.